What's going on guys, Fully from Custom Offsets, Custom Offsets TV on YouTube with Rainy. Uh, we've got another set of From the Gallery, so we're going to take your trucks that you added to the gallery and rate them on a scale of 1 to 10. 1 being not so hot, 10 being super duper awesome. And I think that's all you need to know. Let's jump into it. 96 F250 Cali Off-Road Summits on amp 35 by 13 and a half and a Rough Country 4 inch. This is a pretty beefy setup. I'm already a big fan uh, with the long bed. The long bed's probably my favorite part of it. If only it was a crew cab. Yes. The extended cab, you know. I mean, but, we're not bad, but. But an OBS, you know, extended cab, long box, 24, 14s, and 35s. It's a big meaty setup, and you can't really go wrong with an OBS. Yeah, that's a lot. That's a lot of rubber on there. 24, 14s, and a 35, 13 and a half. It says he cut about two inches off of the bumper to make it fit. And I, just based on the photos, I'm going to say there's only two to go off of, but. I'm gonna guess at full turn, you're probably still doing a little bit of rubbing in there, I would say. Thanks, Brad. You got a number for it? Yeah. Three, two, one, seven, seven. and a half. Whoa. Yeah, seven I'd, and a half? I'd say 7.3, but that's not really a, it's not a rating because it's a 7.3. Oh, I get it. Yeah. Clever. I think this is actually really clean. Um, like I said, again, there's only two photos to go off of, but I, I like the red paint on here. I like the chrome wheels that go well with all the other chrome accents, the mirrors, the bumpers, the grill, the headlight bezels, all that kind of stuff. All ties in really nice. Um, I don't know, it's clean for, yep. for an old Ford. Clean, simple builds. Uh, 2015 Chevy Silverado 1500, motor metal 962, 20 by 12 negative 44s, 35 inch middle ridge wraps, the 13 and a half inch wide ones, uh, which is an important note, on a seven and a half inch rough country. We got a lot of wrap job going on here. Some chromatic blue, and then like a, I think that's matte black, or you think it's a gray? Probably matte black. I'm gonna say matte it's black. Hard to say. Ceramic Pro. Shaded tail lights. Um, Dual exhaust. Yeah, it's got the stock steps, wrap the mirrors, wrap the antenna on the roof. Looks like pretty dark window tint as well. And the windshield is tinted out. Almost painted, they would say. Almost. They would say. Hmm. Three, two, one, six. Four. I think it's a little loud for me. And then you got you got matte black, gloss black, chrome, blue. There's a lot of colors going on. Yeah, and it's not. I'd like it. If it was like a 50/50 wrap, but like they mixed in the mirrors and the antenna on the roof is what kind of is throwing me off quite a bit. Yeah. And then the tailgate's got a like a 45 degree angle slice in it with. Uh, the wrap that changes to the factory black right. paint. It just goes a little, there's a lot going on here. A lot going on here. Could be cleaned up. That's what I'm gonna go with. 2015 F-150 fuel forged, 24 by 16, negative 101s. Uh, Fury Country under MT, 40 by 15 and a half. And 12 inch bulletproof, trucks from Texas. It's a platinum. Let's see, diff covers painted. He's got taillight covers. I don't see a lot of people doing that anymore, honestly. It almost looks like it's paint, like, uh, like a oh, retro maybe. shot painted over it. Yeah, it's definitely possible. Painted the outside plastic bezel and then added that line in the middle to break it up. It's got a lot of purple going on here. Looks like coilovers as well. No rubbing, minor metal trimming. Three photos to go with. That's, mm. that's a big, mm. big Ford F-150. I mean, that's, that's a lot. 40s barely fit on my Cummins with an eight inch lift. So I mean, 40s on an F-150 is right. Crazy. And I wonder, I wonder if this has an EcoBoost. All the badges are off the side. I don't know if it's EcoBoost or five liter, but I imagine that it takes some power to spin these things. And some good re-gearing. Okay, uh, three, two, one, six and a half. I'm gonna go with the eight. You that's a solid to, eight. Forgot to say your number right away. That's okay. I. I'm a little bit slower, like this truck on 40s. Yeah. There's a lot of white going on, and then because they painted over the platinum tailgate, I, I like when it's just like the brushed silver that it comes in. I think that looks really nice. And then adding in these massive chrome wheels. I just, I'm not a huge fan of like that spun style that the spokes are really, really wide. I like a little bit thinner spoke. They are definitely a, a little bit wider than what I would like to go with, but I do like like the white grill, um, mm -hmm. and that the white platinum tailgate badge actually looks pretty clean. Because they filled in with black, then the yeah. lettering. And I also like the, the rear taillights. Um, I've seen like Retro Shops LLC do it, where they paint just portions of it to break it up, and it makes it look like that much more classy. 2006 Toyota so Tacoma Method uh, Standards, 16 by 8 plus zero, and then General Grabber AT2 265 75s, uh, Bilstein leveling kit. Looks like probably Anzo or Spider headlights as well. 
We got our American flag decal on there. That's an aftermarket grill that kind of looks like the newest generation Tacoma. Which actually looks pretty decent on, on these old ones. It actually makes it look like a like lot, a 2010 a lot or newer. newer. And the kind of the headlights do too, because you yep. know the new Tacomas have the stock LED running lights. Um, this isn't in the same orientation, but it's similar enough. I do like the uh, off roads, and I think that's where me and you are both going to agree on that. Is yep. It's an Illinois truck, and like here, you've got it in the middle of the city, and then you go to the next photo, and we're next to a lake, you know, and he clearly does some uh, some off roading with it, which is cool. American flag on the tailgate as well. Very America. It, I don't think it's a TRD, though. I guess it could be. It's got the hood scoop, but the TRD stickers aren't on the side. There's not really a good way to tell just by looking at the truck from these photos to know if it's a TRD or not, but extended cab. Definitely a clean and simple build. Yeah. Look at this. It's a Tacoma. That means Fuller will love it. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. All right. Three, two, one, eight. eight. More than eight. Um, I, I love all the Americanness on here, but having it on the tailgate, the hood, and the sides, it's a lot of lot of flags on one, on one build. I'll agree. That's with like that. the only thing I can really pick on. Other than that, I like the uh, the updated front end. Uh, really makes the vehicle look not like 2006. Not that yeah. there's anything wrong with it, but it is nice taking an older vehicle that you can get a little bit less and making it look that much newer. And Toyota keeps the same body styles forever. And then like now that they came out with the new generation Tacoma, these look so much older. But I, yeah, I agree. The updated front fascia makes it look way better. 04 Sierra 2500 HD. Maybe I should do this to mine. TS 544 RMs, which is the black and red uh, finish. 2414s, I don't know if I said the size or not. It's our AZ 800s, 30535s on a leveling kit. Wide and low. So stock keys cranked up and it has two inch drop shackles in the back. One inch wheel spacers on the front, two inch wheel spacers in the rear. That's aggressive. Tune, deleted, custom audio. Sweet, we got a lot of stuff done to this. Again, only two photos to go off of here. Billet style grill. Looks like those headlights are aftermarket too. They're like uh, clear and chrome with the clear corners. Mm -hmm. Helps keep the front end really clean. Yeah, modernizes it a bit too, I think. And then dark window tint and new generation tow mirrors. I think that's what we're looking at. I, I do like the tires. I, I ran them. Really? They're, they're great tires. They do great in just about everything, except they're, for off-roading. Yeah, I mean, they're very affordable tires. And like if you're going for the street tire look and you don't want to dump all the money into like middle 420s, a set of these is only 600 bucks. Like, yeah, you can't go wrong with that. Yeah, that's not bad at all. All right, uh, three, two, one, eight. eight and a half. I really like this actually. Low, low and wide, I think it, if you're gonna do a show truck look, I like to go as wide as possible, but not go as high as, as you possibly can. Maybe that's just because I'm short. I, I definitely like the street diesel, like the street fighter look where it's just coming down the highway looks like hot as hell. Like get out of my way, yep. coming through. And it yeah. just gives it that extra aggressive, like, hauling ass stance every time you see it. Totally agree. Oh, wow. Opposite end of the spectrum. 2012 Toyota Tacoma, fuel nuts, 24 by 14, and 37, 13 and a half Nitto mud grapplers, which is a very aggressive tire. 12 inch bulletproof. 12 inch lift on a Tacoma? That's huge. And 37s? You can almost put a full Tacoma underneath that. Right? This thing's massive. I like the wheel color. I do as well. Actually, I don't know how I feel about it all together, but I like that color. It actually ties like the fuel nuts together really well because most of the time fuel nuts don't look. I don't great. think they look that cool. And a lot of people do like the chrome and black. Yep. And I just it, it ties it really well with like the spokes to the lip, and then like the the parts where the nuts sit on the side mm -hmm. under the spokes. It, it actually looks really really sharp. I think this is really well thought out too because he's got like the trailer hitch done in the same lime green but he didn't overdo it with it. Like even the suspension is still all just black. And I think if you add too much of this green color, it would be really easy to kind of to kind of overdo it a bit. It's definitely got the flashy wheels and the hitch and that's about where he cut the line and I think that's perfect. All right. Um, hmm. Three, two, one. Six seven. and a half. Six and a half. I kind of yeah. thought you'd rate it higher. You were talking it up. I like it. It's just one of those I don't foresee myself ever building one or driving it. The reason why I rated it a little bit lower is just 
I know how loud that these tires can be on the street, and I, I'm gonna say that this is probably a street-driven truck most of the time. Basically, what'd you say? I can't hear you. Yeah, yeah it's getting kind of loud here. There's a lot of people. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna guess that it's probably mostly a street-driven truck, considering how clean it is and that these tires look like they've never been through the mud, even though they're mud grapplers. And 12 inches on a Tacoma is just, it's huge. Oh my God, we're, it's so loud in here, now Siri's going off even. All right, we're just going to wrap it up because I think that's the end of this video. <laughs> if you guys want to add your vehicle to the gallery, it's customhouses.com forward slash add, and then we can uh, rate it for you. All right, goodbye. Peace. <laughs> it's so loud in here. There's so many up. voices. You know, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten people. Oh, it was nobody in here, and all of a sudden there's 40 <laughs> people.